Hey guys, this video is how to upgrade head unit in your fourth gen 4Runner years 03 to 09 to a nice OEM looking Toyota head unit that has touchscreen, Bluetooth, HD radio. If you're trying to keep a nice clean OEM look in your fourth gen 4Runner, this is definitely the video to watch. So fourth gen 4Runners came with two different sound systems. Some of them came with the JBL synthesis sound system. Some of them came with the regular one. If you have the regular one, you only need a couple of harnesses and that's it. It'll be literally plug and play. If your Forerunner came with the JBL synthesis sound system, you'll have to redirect sound out of this head unit to your onboard JBL amplifier. And that will take just a little bit of splicing and I had to pay $140 to a shop to splice it in for you, but I'll give you this information for free so you can do the same conversion in your JBL Synthesis 4th Gen 4Runner. You'll also keep your steering wheel controls, nothing will change. You'll be able to adjust your volume. Uh, you'll, be, you'll be able to switch to, through the tracks or channels in your radio and mode. Either you want the Bluetooth or radio or CD, whatever you choose to. So this setup is legit and it doesn't take anything away. I'll also show you how I routed this mic and the reason why I mounted on top of the headliner because there's less road noise. A lot of people install them here and there's a lot of road noise from that. I'll show you how I ran it all the way up the pillar headliner. It's all super simple. Uh, enjoy this video. So yeah, my Forerunner came with the old looking head unit. CD, tape, radio, no touch screen, no Bluetooth. And I was gonna go with the aftermarket unit, which is about $200 to have Bluetooth and good quality. Plus all the wiring harnesses and adapters and everything would have been about $350. I was like, I was about to spend that. And then I came across this really cool find. You can literally take a radio out of 2015 16 and 17 Toyota Yaris that has that has touchscreen HD radio Bluetooth everything and it's a direct fit into your 2003 through 2009 Toyota 4 runners literally you just bolt it in and uh, your dash will go right over it it's gonna look factory and original when I found that out I was pretty stoked you only need, gonna need a couple of things you'll need a couple of wiring harnesses that I have purchased from a Toyota dealership. Both of them are about $60, $30 each. Radio, I got a used one for from LKQ. It's an OEM part. They sold it to me for $120. And then you'll need antenna adapters that I got on Amazon. They're both about $15. So total cost is about $190. And you can literally have an OEM looking radio in your Forerunner. You can also connect a microphone to it or a USB port. Uh, there's a plug-in on the back side you can easily connect. I have ordered the USB connection but it's taking a long time to get shipped to my house so for now I'll I'll install it without it and I'll just show how everything works. You'll need a 10 millimeter and an 8 millimeter. Let's get started. First thing lift this, lift this and just tug on that. This part will come right off. comes up fairly easy. Go ahead and disconnect all your connectors. And I guess it helps to start from the left side and push on all the tabs from the left side and remove them all. Pull up on this bezel and it should come right off just like that. Go ahead and remove this little plastic beauty ring around your ignition. It should pop right off, very simple. You'll have two bolts holding this part down. Just pull it up from the bottom. It should come right off. I guess I am missing this bolt there, but if you had one, you would have un unscrewed that. Just pull up on this thing. It'll come right off. Next thing up, climate control. Oh, you'll have a 10 millimeter bolt there. Grab it on the bottom and just kind of yank it out. 
will come right off. And don't start your car without this thing. It might set off airbags lights. Remove it to get it out of the way. It just connects fairly easy. Next thing, this bezel piece. It's held in by two 10 millimeter bolts. Now, I'm just gonna work its way from the bottom. Should come out no problem. Comes right off, no issues. Disconnect switch for the rear gl glass, your four wheel drive, and your hazard. And then this thing should come right up. Maybe open the glove box to give yourself a little bit more room to play with. Great. Now we are ready to start removing our head unit. You'll have two 10 millimeter bolts in the very back. Wait. Pull this one out. There's two antenna wires and there, there are only three wiring harnesses connected to it. Looks pretty basic and simple. Let's go ahead and take these brackets and put them on the, our new unit. Now I'll go ahead and attach brackets from uh, Forerunner stereo to this one here. So you have these little guides, four of them. You'll just line them up with those small holes. So you'll just end up putting three bolts up here and nothing down here. Now let's move to the right side. And these brackets fit right in. It's amazing how compatible they are. I bought this microphone on Amazon. It's original Scion Toyota part, plugs in into your harness over here, as I already showed. So I'm gonna run this mic from here all the way across down this pillar, up this headliner and up to here. So I'll be taking this apart. Not too much work, but pop this out. That's it, just a couple of plugins. And this comes off. Next thing up. Oops. Where did this thing go? Found the second one. They're just sitting in there like so. Then you have two 10 millimeter screws holding that in. I could put my put my mic on top of the steering column, but I'm thinking it's gonna produce a lot of noise. So yeah, I'll run my mic behind here. Now this thing has to come off. I need a Phillips screwdriver. Pop this off. And that those are your plugins for the vanity light. This is your secondary one. I believe it's just a little plastic screw, that's it. There's a screw right there. Right. This comes right out. This thing should come right out. There shouldn't be any screws in there, nothing. Oh. And this here unplugs. Bam, that one is still good. So I might be able to buy that at the dealer. They have this little Velcro that holds it in. Now, I think I have access all the way up to here for my mic wire. Let's give it a shot. Okay, I think that should be long enough. Tuck it underneath here. Bring it down here into the A pillar column. Right I might even run it behind here, behind my cluster gauge. Bam, and here's my mic. I think I have plenty of slack here, plenty of slack here. Let's install the plaster gauge back in place. So it's held in by three screws. I'm gonna throw this pillar plastic piece. Thanks. 
Um. I'm not doing backup camera, which is this. This is just extra that I'm not gonna plug anything in. This is USB auxiliary. Let's start plugging in all the harnesses. Uh, we can start with antenna. Yeah, this will go into your main harness. So this small one, that's why you got this adapter. It plugs into the small one. And then the small one plugs into the big one. And then you have this one that plugs into the... So your antenna is ready to be plugged in. You can purchase these antenna adapters on Amazon for around $15. And I'll have a link in my description. Now you have this harness, the CH one. So this will plug in. You can get this at the dealership, I was saying. This plugs in directly into your OEM harness, no matter if you have JBL synthesis or not. And this here is gonna be for my microphone. So my microphone is here and this will connect into my head unit. Here I put together an up close picture so you can see the connectors and what they look like and which end goes where. This is the harness I got, TYTO-01. You can purchase this harness on Amazon for $45 with this little box. Then you'll take this harness that I bought on dealership and cut this plug off and you'll only be using these two plugs on the left hand side. Then you'll take this harness and splice it in with your Metro TYTO01 into this harness. And uh, you can forward to the end of the video. I'm going in detail how I'm splicing everything in. And your end result is gonna be this harness here that's gonna plug into your Forerunner and into your new head unit. This will plug in directly into your OEM harness. Now you need this little unit little module this end goes in here this end plugs into here great now this is my antenna I'll plug it in okay let's start plugging everything in the hardest one to plug in will be this one because it's the shortest but first thing I'll plug this harness in then I'll plug this one in. Then this one. This is your antenna. And I already got my microphone plugged in. Now I gotta get this one in here. Now I gotta fit all this stuff inside this cavity. I almost gotta try and put this and the plug-in on top of the unit. Okay, let's get started. Oh wow, boots up Toyota. Source. All. Bluetooth. Done deal. So when you have the JBL sound system in your Forerunner, this connector on this wiring harness does not want to plug into your original wiring harnesses that is in your Forerunner. You need a connection like this. And as you can see, they're completely different. 
If you have the non-JBL, this will plug right in. Your steering wheel controls work. Everything will just work smoothly. But since I have that JBL in there, I'll have to go through the process of trying to wire this all together. Okay, I'll quickly go over the back of the radio. This is your USB auxiliary connection. This will be your rear camera. I'm not plugging that in, so that's gonna be empty. That's your extensions, some auxiliary plugins. This would be your steering wheel controls and that as well, or whatever auxil other auxiliary plugins you have. This here is your antenna. Here's your power, main power, front speakers, and here are your rear speakers. Let's take a look at the harnesses. I showed you guys that I got PT546-001-20CH and this is this harness here. Let's start with that. So this harness is gonna plug in directly into your new radio and this end is gonna plug into your OEM harness on your 4Runner, no matter if it has JBL sound system or not. And then you're gonna have this one. You're gonna leave this empty unless you bought an external mic. That's what I did. This mic is gonna plug into here and then I'll run this mic and mount it on my ceiling and I'm gonna have a mic. I'll be able to talk on the phone. This is the harness. You don't have to do any modification, no matter if you have JBL sound system or not. So this next harness that's responsible for power, front and rear speakers and antenna, this harness I had to splice in. It plugs in directly into the radio this way. The other end, I had to cut it off. It would not plug into my OEM harness on the 4Runner because I have the JBL sound system. So I ended up buying this little uh, TYTO-01 harness. Basically what this does, it takes sound from this head unit and redirects it to the OEM JBL amplifier that is installed in your 4Runner. And this is how you would splice it in. You would go yellow to yellow orange to orange, red to red. Then you would have two blacks coming out of this. One is just black and one has a black and white line on it. You, you would splice them into this one big fat black wire. This would plug into your radio. I'll plug it in so it's not confusing. So this is what you would splice into here. And then you would take this blue wire and splice it into your antenna. Then that plugs into your antenna here we'll take a look at that a little later so but then you still have this blue wire coming out this white so these are basically your front left speaker and front right speaker so you would take this harness and find same color wires in it and just splice them together gray with gray gray black with gray black white with white white with white black and blue with white with blue and white that turns on your amp and then you would need this little piggy tail luckily when i bought my stereo at lkq they just cut all the wires and they left all the plugs so you can see this plug right here both of these green wires green and green black are your rear left speaker and this purple and purple black are your rear right speaker this here is your rear left and this here is your rear right. Oh, and there's another white wire. It's an extra wire right there. I don't know where that goes, but they didn't splice anything. They just left it empty and everything works. Oh, and then you'll have some extra wires. This blue, pink, red, green, uh, green, purple, brown and uh, white, orange. Don't worry about these wires. Just tape them off and leave them alone. You're not going to be using them uh, for this in this case you have your power you have your front speakers and you have your rear speakers and you have your steering wheel controls your microphone now you need your antenna Toyota 4Runner has two antenna cables so you just simply plug this in into here now you have your antenna plug in you take one of the ends plug it into here and once you're in your car, you have two ends. That's you'll need this adapter. You plug this in. Once you're in your car, you plug both of them in and you're good to go. Okay, this is how your setup would look. And this is your box that redirects the sound from the head unit 
to your OEM JBL, JBL amp that is in your car and this plugs in directly into your car. I bought this on Amazon for $40 and I'll leave a link in my description. This is your other wiring harness. This is your antenna. This would plug in directly into your car. I really hope you guys find this helpful and do the same thing in your car. Guys, thank you for watching this video. I really hope, like I said, you'll find this video helpful. In the description section below, I'll leave all the links and list of all the parts you'll need for this conversion. And like I said, it's fairly simple. You can watch my video and if you have any questions, ask me and I'll definitely answer all your questions. Please like my videos, subscribe to my channel, share, comment. I really appreciate all the support. Thank you. Till next time.